In this demonstration, I will show you sort of some of the basic tools in Sketchbook and how to get you started uh, working on some of your first graffiti wild style letters. So the first thing, of course, we have the left hand bar there, the vertical bar on the left, all over tools. And so I like to sort of always start out with the felt pen, which is already highlighted there in the um, in the blue outline around it. And so if you go up to the top, it has a little pencil icon with a little uh, horizontal line with a dot on it. If I touch that, this goes through all of the tools that I have. Okay, so lots and lots and lots and lots of tools. So I like the felt pen. That's a ballpoint pen that would work as well. But the felt pens are located in the colorless and it's right here. So I'm going to be using the felt pen. Now, before I get started, a couple things I need to figure out. One, this is great because, of course, anything I do, I can always hit the left arrow here up at the upper, the upper bar on the left hand corner and it will undo what I've done. So there's two slider bars. There's a top slider bar over here on the tool that makes my mark wider and smaller. Okay, so I don't want it too big. Nice small line. Okay, and this is the opacity that creates a line that is more or less see-through. Okay, so I want it all the way kind of up at the, at the top. Maybe a, a little bit later on we can play with the opacity. Now to choose your color, you have the, the right bar over here, the right vertical bar. I've got a plus at the top and I've got a couple of little boxes and on the bottom there's a little rainbow circle. So I'm going to go ahead and touch that. And I'm going to touch the circle up there. That's the color that I'm currently chosen. And so I can choose all kinds of colors, slide things around to create a darker value, a lighter value, all kinds of things. But I'm just going to use black for now. So I'll go down here to this little rectangle and these little rectangles at the bottom, bottom left, black, boom, I'm good. And I can just sort of put that away. All right. So with this, there'll be lots of sort of zooming in that happens. So I've got my paper and I'm just going to sort of zoom in just like I would zoom in on like a photograph. Okay. I could even zoom in a little bit further than that. So I've got my paper nice and thick. So now when we start with the wild style letters, I always say, you know, like I talked about at the beginning of the year, way back, way back, if you remember with our folders, you know, I say like start with a letter. So I've got my letter. Okay, so if I was going to do block letters, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Okay, I could do an outline around my letter and block. on either side. Okay, and then I could just erase make that a little bigger. And I can just go in here and erase that middle line. Come back in here. And that's the great thing with this program is of course I can always clean everything up so that you won't even notice things that I've done before. Okay, so standard block letter. So for a bubble letter, I've got to go back to my first tool here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do my A again. And so I said with the bubble letter, you can just create sort of curved lines kind of on each side of your big lines. And then Again, I can come in with my eraser tool. And I can just clean up. I can really zoom in here and I can get all those little spots that I didn't want. I can make a pretty cool little roundy A. And of course, I could always come back in here and fix these little top lines. Okay. Now with wild style, you have to kind of start out with a letter that's a little bit different. Okay. So it could be like a letter that's got a lot of flow to it. So maybe an A. 
like this. Okay, or maybe, let's see if I can find a good one. Okay, maybe it's something like this. Okay, so I can kind of use the same kind of block work that I was doing before. I might actually like put like a little arrow on it. Maybe some little dots up here. Okay, and I'm just going to just simply make kind of rectangles around everything. Oops. Choose my thing here. There we go. We can kind of do some kind of interesting stuff. Like so. Of course, then I just come back in with my eraser. I can get it rid of everything that I don't want. So my eraser is a little bit big. Okay, so I could do this, you know, with any kind of letter. I could do like a W. Or again, I might give it some kind of a flare. Super fun to do this digitally because I can just clean this up super quickly. And you'll never know that I had that original line there in the first place. So these letters, it's all about sort of playing around with what the first letter looks like. And kind of going from there. Okay, so that's kind of like basic introduction to wild style. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up with our own alphabet and I'll add my image and I'll be importing my alphabet so that I will come in here and create you know my own letter like what is my A going to look like over here you know to sort of get started and then I can kind of block that in of course I've got to make my tool super small I get in these very little tiny areas going around this stuff.